All right, these are the forward elevators on the Norwegian Encore. It's really weird because they're on separate controllers. So really it's like two separate banks of four. It's a very strange elevator setup. Hello, hello. So we got this one. This one, four is locked, but we can go to 17. Four is open during excursions. I love these square buttons. See, look, four is locked. We can go down to five. It says call locked. These are nice elevators. I like these square buttons. So these elevators go 4 to 17, these go 4 to 18, that car goes to 19, the other three cars on this bank only go to 18. And as you see, it's just like the rest of the elevators. 18, door closed, and I love the square buttons. Four's locked, go to five. They are nice elevators. I love the square buttons, but I will have to say this layout, oops, sorry, this layout is not exactly the best. This car is really unique because this is the only car that goes to deck 19. The door close button works. And deck 19 opens up over here and hold the elevator for just a second for me because deck 19 goes right outside and it is a windy night out there. Now we'll go back down to deck 5. This elevator is the only one with a rear door. Oh, 
five. Here we're back at deck five. I want to send that car up. There goes that car. In my opinion, the best way to handle a layout like this would be with Destination Dispatch. So now we will go look at the other elevators on the boat. The elevators on one. <sighs> Place a call on that side. Here we go. The cabs look pretty much the same. Here at 17. Door close button works. I like that. It's just like the other elevators. As you can see, there's eight elevators on this bank as well. Now this one, it's a little bit brighter in here. These don't go to 17 or 4. Deck five. Going up. Uh-oh, the video's over. But it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more. And you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe and light up that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.